Okay, we have a LeBlanc Makino 15 by 54 engine lathe. Uh, it's a servo shift. It has a Sony digital readout, uh, taper turning attachment, a four jaw Pratt burner chuck, a three jaw chuck, and steady rest. We have a quick change tool post uh, with a couple of holders and also a coolant system. We're gonna run her for you. All right, right now we're running at 256 RPM. You have the brake and the other direction. All right, now we're gonna feed. He's running the cross feed. You can see on the digital readout. The machine not only besides having longitudinal cross feed and, and uh, inch and metric hand wheel dials, you have inch and metric uh, reading on the digital readout. He's engaging the half nut and we are threading. You also can reverse it on the carriage. There you go, it's reversed. And you're reversing the feed. And uh, is that reverse the thread too? No. And we're going to shift speeds. It's hydraulic shifting, we're going to a low RPM, that's 45 RPM. The machine has a L1 spindle nose and a two and 1764 inch hole through the spindle. Shifting to a higher spindle speed, that's 95. Let's take it up, going up to 500 and 500. You can see here the machine is very quiet in all, all the different speeds and it shifts pretty easily. Forward and reverse. Again, you might want to tailstock. That's the tailstock quill. You have a live center in there and uh, number four Morse taper. Again, you might want to take note of the taper turning attachment back there. Okay. Nice and complete with the bracket. All right, you have a micrometer carriage stop, hardened ground bedways. Thank you for watching the video. Oh, serial number 14C1167.